Hello everybody, this is uh, my review of the torch on the Rogers network. Uh, it's an ATT branded phone. If you can't wait, I suggest going to New Hampshire, a no sales tax, four ninety nine tax in uh, at the Rogers store. Uh, they sold it to me no problem and unlocked it and here is my views and opinions and review uh, for any people in Canada waiting to get this phone if you don't get to test it out and play with one uh, in stores I don't think they're gonna have a, a usable demo so I figure I'll uh, give you as much detail as I can from everything that you've been hearing online uh, about issues with the phone first of all the lock button yes it's very sensitive if this is in your pocket it's gonna go off and you're gonna make phone calls you're gonna want a case for it or uh, one of those a pouch uh, highly 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 suggest that you invest in one uh, or use an old one from your blackberry uh, if you have one let's say an old bold should fit no problem um, the lock button. The next issue people were talking about was a wiggle from the screen. Now, I don't know if I just have a good build, but, um, I mean, I don't have any wiggle problems. Uh, I think that they were talking about this as one, if you can see. Uh, pushing it down there, there is a little bit of a wiggle, but I don't know why you'd possibly be doing that with your phone, uh, and why that would annoy you. You shouldn't be playing with it anyways. Uh, when you touch the screen there's no wiggling of the phone of the slider when you open it uh, there is a slight slight wiggle uh, but if you're not doing that you don't even feel it you can shake this phone around you don't feel it wiggling you don't feel it like it's gonna fall apart um, I don't know if people were just being very picky or if uh, there are some versions worse than others but as you can see, this one is a pretty solid phone. Um, another issue I, well, I don't know if it's an issue, but it's something that I'm not too crazy about is this side convenience key. As you can see, I'm clicking it a little bit and it's not doing anything. You really got to click it down for it to go into your uh, app that you have it set for. Uh, it takes some getting used to. At first, I was getting really frustrated that it wouldn't. Uh, go in. I thought it was delay with the phone, but then I realized it's actually the build of the key. Uh, so that's something that you're going to want to see. Keypad. People, I've had this phone for about two and a half weeks now. Uh, no issues. Nothing's falling off. No keys are falling off. Um, then I, so this kind of makes me wonder if it's just a good build of the phone. It was the Mexico Four phone. Um, I don't know what hardware is going to be coming to Canada, if it's the same batch or what, but uh, on the box, look to see if it says Mexico 4, you shouldn't be having any issues. Um, speakerphone. The speakerphone and this speaker right here are not the loudest of the BlackBerry devices. Uh, depends what you're using. What I found is, is depending on the, the call quality from the other phone, uh, will make a difference in the loudness of your speakers um, but during a call a speakerphone is almost useless normally when uh, on all my other blackberries when I was in a phone call uh, through this speaker you'd be able to move it away from your head and hear what the person saying this has to be like on your head all the time so anyone that needs a loud phone uh, that has trouble hearing or anything you might have some issues with this for me it's no problem uh, anyways, with all the recent studies, I've been using the headphones a lot, uh, just to avoid, uh, avoid myself from getting any kind of brain damage. Um, software. So, software, uh, you've all seen it, you have your little notification up here for Wi-Fi. Um, one of the like things I found is, see, every time I do this video, this seems to work instantly. When I click on options, it goes right to the options it's very random sometimes it'll take a little while to load even when I click the button like that it won't go I'll click it again then it'll go uh, now that's just probably a software issue not anything with the performance of the the phone and its processor speed your notification area I'm not gonna go into all this stuff that you've seen a million times um, what I wanted to show was a lot of people were talking about the uh, lag going from one to the other there is this is 
just a software issue which will be fixed uh, it's not anything to do with the hardware because if you go like this and you wiggle it around it's just as fast as uh, any smartphone touch phone uh, touch screen sorry that's available on the market um, I don't know people are just a little picky they're a little uh, in French we say gâté or gifted uh, treated I don't know how to say it in English um, with iPhone quickness between shifting screens uh, it's not an issue for me I don't know if it's going to be an issue for other people but to each his own uh, one app I wanted to show you was calendar calendars very very huge improvement nice looking and also anywhere in any app you'll see if you hold down because these these buttons are not labeled and if you want to see what it does instead of just tapping it and it'll access it you just hold it down so new appointment day week as long as you hold it down it won't open uh, what my favorite improvement is I'll show you right here we're gonna add a new appointment and I don't like the on-screen. That, that's another thing. The on-screen keyboard, I'm I'm not a fan. It it doesn't work too well. Uh, it makes a lot of little mistakes and um, uh, just responsiveness and writing in like short words that normally like if I want to write o OK I it's for to say o OK, uh, it won't allow me and pick all kinds of random stuff. Uh, all right, so this is what I want to show you. So I'm gonna do. Hi, as an appointment, I'm going to save it. It's passed, that's okay. Now I'm going to do another appointment. And I'm going to call this Ho. Oh. And I'm going to go out and I'm going to save this. It's okay. And then I'm going to do another appointment. And I'm going to call this Ha Ha. Alright. So, what I want to show you, what I think is really awesome now that they've done um, in the calendar app. Oops is here uh, let me get to the appointment there we go as you can see it used to be where they're all under each other and kinda get a little bit confusing and unorganized now it'll put them side by side next to each other for your appointments for the day which uh, to me is is I don't know it's great I love it um, I just thought I'd show people that anybody who likes the BlackBerry calendar app will very much appreciate this little change that uh, RIM has done with their software. Uh, social feeds, my my view on social feeds, uh, because the battery life isn't that great on the Torch, I don't use it. I'd like to use it. Uh, I have my iPad that I, I do more of my RS feeds and my Twitter. Uh, just for the simple reason that the battery life on this phone isn't great if you're a heavy, heavy user. Uh, I do use my phone a lot. Today, as you see, I didn't use it much because I still have all that left. Uh, but if you use your phone a lot, this battery is uh, not the best. Um, again, I don't usually software upgrades uh, will change that. Um, but hopefully, hopefully it'll get better because social feeds are cool. It'd be nice to constantly see my Twitter feed and my RSS feeds uh, but we'll see we'll see what goes on other than that uh, another app that looks very nice is on here is Google Maps now pinch to zoom does not work if you see wait you'll see me pop up somewhere here um, there I am I'm gonna pinch to zoom and it'll throw me into the middle of nowhere you have to use the uh, keys to zoom in now I don't know whose fault that is, if it's the Blackberry or if it's uh, an issue with Google Maps, but pinch to zoom on Maps does not work very well at all. Um, exit this. And that's pretty much it. That's my quick review uh, for any Canadians looking to get the Torch. Amazing phone. I am beyond happy with this. And as much as people are bashing, rim in the direction of their phones I think this shows a lot of the potential that the Blackberry device has in the upcoming year two years uh, with the evolution of the smartphones and I really hope that they step up their game even more because uh, their devices are really really great and if you're a communication person this is the phone you want to get this is a communication tool it's not a toy um, anyways hope you enjoyed
uh, be back soon.